Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this nice looking HDMI plus KVM switch. Again, this is something that I've been playing with for almost a year. It's created by a company called SGEYR. And no, nobody sent this to me. I actually purchased this and I came across a few little problems with it. I contacted the company and they were really nice enough to send me an exchange because I play with this every day that I should make a video to show you exactly how it works, why it works and what it doesn't work. So I want to mention a few things that if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon select all in order to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And don't forget to click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly with a little more detail every time. All right, the actual box is very nicely designed. The one that you can see on the picture is for two ports, but I have the fourth port. And then once you open it, and you take everything out of it one by one, And here are all the components that are part of this box. It comes with this user manual and it does indicate that there are four port version, the one that we have. Now, when you flip it in the back, it has the table of content, also some instructions, which is very tiny writing. And going to the back part of it, you have the features and then the connections and more information on connectors. Everything is on this side. But when you go on the switch part of it on how it's going to operate, going on the bottom part of it is packing list. And you have more about the warning and if you need help, how you can get contact with them. It comes with four of the USB wires. Now, there are two type of connectors. This is more like a printer connector, but these are all USB 2.0. You do not need anything higher than that. And this will be connecting at the back of your KVM HDMI switch. And then this one will be going to your keyboard and mouse, or if you have a hub, you can connect it to that. So this way will really help you out. Now it also comes with this power adapter, which is very, very small. Now, if you look, this is created for Canada and the United States, but this will give you five volt, one amp in order for the actual HDMI KVM switch to be turned on. It also comes with this little remote. Now you can see that there is a little thing to it for the battery so you're not going to use it until you really need it but if you need to replace the actual battery here's the number and when you flip it it's very simple it is just an IR connector to this so you just have to point to it and you press you want to go to one two three or four and it will be able to just switch really small and there's no other connector to this so you do not have to worry and here is the HDMI KVM switch. Now this is four ports. You can see it's really nicely designed and it is made out of metal and it is not plastic. It's really nicely done. You can see the ventilations on the side. So let's go through and capture to see what we have. Their name is written really nicely in the front. Then you do have the power. When you turn it on, this will be really red. The IR indicator is always showing, which is a really cool thing. The buttons are very solid and you can see that it is just sticking out and that is when you click on it it makes that little noise which is a really good thing so you can do this directly on it or you can use the actual remote to change the stations from one to another and you do have the connectors that will tell you what is what and also which computer you're going to be connected to now on this side it will tell you that you can connect a 4k monitor on this or your video cards that will present the picture using the hdmi connectors it will go up to 4k and there are four ports the one that we have you can see it but they do sell this with just two ports or four ports again if you guys do have three computers you have to get one of these it will really help you out to connect all three computers into one monitor and keyboard and mouse and go into the back part of it is the best part you can see the power connector which is five volt one amp and then your output this is where you're going to go from here to your monitor and then also your keyboard and mouse 
Now the best part is that it directly just connects to this, so that's the beautiful part. Now another good thing is that each of these you need to have the actual wire so for me the computers are not that far which is the beautiful thing and then you can connect one hdmi here goes to one computer and then the wire that came with it which is one of these will be connected here and the other end will go to that computer that's all you need and then same thing with the second computer third computer and the fourth computer so you do have five HDMI connectors in the back. One is the output goes to your monitor. These ones are going in from that computer to the switch in order for it to make it work. And then when you switching, it will change it for you. And again, on the sides, you do have these little cuts and these are just for ventilation. So that way it doesn't heat up. And again, with this industrial look, you will never going to get any heat out of this. So it really works. And we will show you exactly how you're going to be able to connect it. And when you're using it, how easy it is to switch from one computer to another. And that way it will work. So for us, we have a server. And then we have our regular computer that we do day-to-day -day emailing. And then we also have third computer, which we also do some video editing. And then our laptop. So this way, all of them going to be connected to one monitor. Remember, just one monitor. And that's it. So if you have a dual monitor, then you cannot connect to this. So one of them goes directly to this and the second one should go directly to the second monitor. So this way when you're switching, it should switch. But with this, only one monitor will be able to turn on and it will work for you perfectly. So this is a really good product. And let's go through and show you the next. Now connecting the wires at the back of your HDMI KVM switch should be very easy. You just have to plug it in. There's nothing else. And once you hook up your USB wires first, then go next and connect your HDMI wires. One thing I've let you know is if you have color coded, your HDMI makes it a lot simple. Or if you mark each end of it so you know which computers what number will be a lot easier on your cabling system. All right, now connecting this to the actual TV was a breeze. The only problem I have is since I have take everything out to make this video and then rehooking it up. My wires in the back is a mess right now. And there's a few things that I have to mention as the remote itself loses battery really quick. So we're not going to use that. But right now I'm connected via my laptop. And when I move my mouse, it works perfectly. And when I have to use my keyboard, it works perfectly with that. Now that's not the only thing. What I have done is I have another computer that it is connected right now. And you can see that as soon as you connect it, the you're going to hear the voice for the USB being connected, disconnected, and that's how it will, it will work. And on top of that, I have another little device that I have connected so that way we can move and I can use the sound from each computer to go to just one stereo system that we have set up. And I have the little speakers on the side. So one is sitting over here, the other one is sitting on the other side, which I cannot show right now, but this is how easy it is to play with it. Another good thing is you can see the power line is going in front of the monitor and that's what I just did really quickly so we can go through this video and this is how easy it is to set it up. Now if I have to switch to my server, very easily it will go through and it will connect and you can see that, that it is connected right now and it works, it really works. And then if I have to connect to my another computer which I do a lot of video editing and that's also easily just connect and goes through. Now, since the speaker's not set up for them, you don't hear that noise. But if I have to go back to my laptop, and there you go, so it shows up very quickly, and even I can see my shadow of my hands, that's why I'm moving it a lot, is it shows it perfectly and it goes through nicely now if i have to move the mouse it easily moves and i'm able to use everything just by one little unit and you do have to power it up by the way to make it work so it's very easy very convenient and easily you will be able to connect all of your computers into just one device so that way you can use your regular monitor regular keyboard and a regular mouse with this and voila now you're connected and very easily you will be able to assist. So in conclusion, I want to mention that this KVM switch is one of our favorite and I'm using it for almost 13 months and roughly about seven to eight months, one of the USB connections to it, which is using the KVM switch, 
stopped. So I could not use it. So I had to buy another actual KVM switch. But at the meantime, I contacted them and they're really nice. And they switched it up for me and they're giving me one that really works. But since I have a KVM switch, I am using that mostly now. But just for this video, I connected it all directly to this. So I can show you that it does work if you want to order one. They do not make it KVM and switches anymore. So they make just the HDMI switch and you can buy that. And for KVM switch, we will be having a future video on how that works, which I have always connected my keyboard, my mouse and my USB hub so I can connect more devices to that. Except that my sound is coming directly outside and I'm not using the HDMI connections, which do support sound and my monitor does not have speakers built into it. So I'm using an external speakers for the sound system, except that all the links will be available in the bottom. And I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top comment the bottom always remember to visit our own website which is exitex.info like us on facebook follow us on twitter instagram and other social networking places and thank you